Let's start off by having a tour of our library. No matter what portal that you are logged into, the library is quite similar. For the schools and the teachers, they have this extra side panel with a few extra features for the teacher and the school to be able to give access to the students. But let's have a look at the library. Now in our library, we have our eight levels. Inside these levels are all of the books, the videos and resources that are related to that level. So let's jump in and have a look at level one for an example. Now here I am in our level one library. We have our early reader books in here, our non-fiction in here and our main fiction here. We also have our daily review lessons, our SOR squad videos and our workbooks. Let's jump into some of our books. Let's go into non-fiction for this tour. You can see we've got five books in our non-fiction. When we open up a book, you can see it appears nice and big. We can navigate and turn the pages with this button here. Now, all of the words are interactive and you can hear them being sounded out and blended together if you just click on a word. Atten pan. T -eaten tin. We also have this feature here, which is the read to me button. A tin. Nan tips the tin into the pan. So you can see that it is interactive. Students can have a go at reading the words and then hearing what a fluent reader sounds like. If we just head back into our level, going to go back here, we can see when we get to our main fiction series, there's a lot more books. We actually have 20 titles in our main fiction series. In each series, we have our hear the sounds and the sight words to learn. If we click on hear the sounds, you can see here that we can click on the letter and hear the sound that it's representing. S ah. T if I head back, we're going to have a quick look at some of the sight words that will be encountered in our books. And these we can hear from sound to print, part to whole. Oh, mm. On. A, n, d, and. Okay, so there you can see we've got all of the books, hear the sounds and the sight words. I'm just going to head back to have a look at some of our other features. Now also in each level are your daily review lessons. There are 10 lessons that will appear that students and teachers can work through together. If you want further information about what's in each lesson and how to teach it, just head to our educator's guide. I've just clicked on there and a download will come and you can see all the lessons, how to teach it and what's included. Let's just head back to our lessons. I'm going to go back and let's explore our videos. In level one, we have phonemic awareness videos, phonics videos and fun videos. Let's have a look at our phonemic awareness videos. You can see there's lots of videos in here conducted by our SOR squad, our Sounds of Reading squad, and they're interactive and encourage students to sound out words and hear that sounding and that blending. Let's have a little click on one and see what they're like. Are you listening? Can you hear my words? So I'm going to stop there. The great thing about these videos is that they are played on YouTube, the kid version, and have no ads. 
So let's head back and have a look at what other videos we've got. So we've got all of these phonemic awareness videos. We also have our level one SOR squad videos. If we just go back in there, we can see we've got our sound hunt videos. These are our sound introductions for each letter sound correspondence of our scope and sequence. And then we have our blending and segmenting videos. These are our SOR squad phonics videos. We also have some fun videos just for other learning areas. We've got season song, our month song, germs and days of the week and a few other ones to learn colours in there as well. In each level we have our workbook. So let's click on workbooks and our workbooks come in each state's font. So depending on what state you're in, at the moment I'm in Queensland, so I'm going to click on level one Queensland font and that will go straight to my downloads. It might just take a couple of minutes for my computer to download the level one workbook and these are printable for your school. And I'm just gonna shrink it down a little bit so that you can see these workbooks are fantastic to introduce the correct font of your state, practice that handwriting and then it moves further down into phonics activities. Then it gets more complex. I'll just show you there where you're doing beginning and final sounds. Lots of pages of phonics practice. It moves to sentence level as the students begin to put those letters and sounds together from word level to sentence level and then it's even got our uh, writing level where they can use the pictures to attempt some writing and finally each booklet has a quick little uh, check uh, and screener to see if they can read these words starting from simple and moving to more complex and a little assessment at the end. So just to recap, in each level we have early readers, non-fiction, main fiction, daily review lessons, videos and workbooks. I'm just going to go back a little bit further and show you a couple of the other levels. Let's have a look in level three. We've got our early readers, our non-fiction and our main fiction. Let's have a quick look in our non-fiction. We've got all 10 texts plus our hear the sounds and our sight words and all the letters and sounds that we will cover in that level. Let's have a look at one more level. Let's have a look at level eight. We've got our early readers, our non-fiction and our main fiction. This time let's have a look in our early readers. Here are our early readers with our hear the sounds, our sight words, the letter sound correspondences that we're going to learn. All right, that is a tour of our library. Stay tuned for the next part as we go through each portal. Let's have a look at the school portal. This is the first portal that a school will receive when they first subscribe. Over here is our school management page. This is where you'll do all of your setup. Setting up the teachers in here, we've got students, you can bulk add students. Teachers can also do this on their teacher platform, but this is where all the action happens to set up your school and manage your school. There's lots of help videos in one of the tabs down below to help educators set up their school and maintain their school. When looking for a teacher, they have a teachers tab. We can click on there and see all of our teachers. We can click on our students and see all the students. You can add profile pictures if you would like to as well. We have our library, which you've been shown through. Our daily review lessons are separate in case you wanna access them quickly. We have our Sparkle Kit tab. This is where you can purchase our Sparkle Kit for $100 off. You just follow that link and instead of being the price of $4.95, you can actually purchase it for $3.95. We also have the assessment data collection package for Excel in there. All of our videos are collated, so in case you didn't wanna go through the library, you've got access to all the videos all in one spot. We have the next tab having our professional development. We have eight series of videos for educators to go through and each series has lots of little snippet videos where you can watch and learn all about decodables, the science of reading and lots of instructional approaches. 
Then moving from the professional development, we have our resources tab. This is where you can also find your workbooks. We've got charts, we've got reading logs, all downloadable and printable. We have certificates for each level, posters, masks, resources, games, um, the letter for your parents if in case you want one that's already done of how to navigate through the online library. Then we have our Tune Into The Sounds, our phonemic awareness screener, some placemats and posters as well for spelling and a suggested literacy block. All right, we'll just head back up. We've also got just under that any billing details and you will have to go through the security code. We keep that very protected. We've got our help videos. And last but not least, if you have any questions at all, you can just contact us through our help desk of our help tab there. Let's have a look at the teacher portal. I've logged in as a teacher. It is very similar to the school portal. The difference is we have a class management tab up here where the teacher gets to manage their class rather than the whole school. This is where you add students, you can bulk add students, reassign students, transfer classes, delete classes or students. Lots of management of your students and your classes from in here. When you go to the next tab, that's the students in that teacher's class. So you can manage students from individually from in here. So I could click on our friend here, Don Gill, and this is all of his profile, what books he's read, what's locked and what, what's unlocked. Then I can go to book allocation. This is where I can actually allocate books to my students. Here is all of my class and here are all the levels that they have access to. So let's jump on to level two and view that. And you can see here, we've got one student who's already read some of our level two. For some students, that level two is locked. So I can differentiate what is available for students. I also have the ability to do a whole class book locks and unlocks. So if I wanted to unlock all of level one for my student, I can just click the last book and it will click over to all being unlocked. If I just wanted 10 books to be available for all of my class, I click that 10, it flicks across and 10 books are unlocked, 10 books are locked. So I can do full locks and unlocks as a whole class, but I can also manage my students individually. If you have students that need to go ahead, you can do that without affecting the rest of the class. So that's a really cool feature. I can also do ID cards. I can print ID cards. I follow these steps, making sure I reset a password then I give them the password, once I've reset it, what password it is. And that password, when you press update, will be on their QR code and their ID cards. And then students can just simply hold the iPad to that QR code and it auto logs them in, which is really cool. If you're using a device that's not an iPad, like a laptop, then the students can type in their username and their password from there. All right, let's head back. That's our ID cards. We've had a look through the awesome library that are, that are set out in their individual levels. And in those levels, we have all of the readers, the lessons, the videos, and the workbooks. Now for teachers who just wanna quickly access their daily review lessons, all the daily review lessons are together here. When you click on the lesson, the lesson will come and you just navigate that lesson, working through with the students all of the activities on that lesson. It starts with activity one being that letter sound correspondences and flicks all the way through to dictation activities. Okay, let's have a look what's next. So we've done the daily review. We've got access to a Sparkle kit purchase for $100 off. So if your school management um, wants you to purchase the Sparkle kit, you can do it through your link there. And you can also download the data collection package, which is our Excel data collection package. All of the videos can be found in one spot for the teacher as well. In case you don't wanna go through the library, you just wanna go straight to the videos and they're all leveled. So picking a level, 
and you'll have all of the videos, all your sound hunt videos and your phonics videos all together per level. We have our professional development tab and these take you to loads of videos and they're little snippets of teaching and aligning your teaching to structured literacy and the science of reading. We have eight series of videos that takes us directly to our learning lounge and you can see all of the videos in there. All right, heading back over with our resources page, just like the school platform, you can see you can download and print a load of resources from reading logs, games, um, and spelling posters in there. And we are, are constantly updating that page as well. We've got our help videos for our teachers as well, just in case you want to see in action some of the things that you can do, like how to create your ID cards, you can watch that help video first. And once again, you can see that we are here to help. So if you've got any questions at all while using the online library, you can just fill out this form and we're extremely responsive. All right, I'm going to log out of our teacher and log in from our student point of view. Let's have a look what a student login looks like. I've logged in as a student. This student is Don Gill. And just straight away, you can see what's available to him and what has been locked by the teacher. So Don is able to go into level one and level two. Let's have a look what he has available to him in level one. He's got all of it open. So early readers, nonfiction, and our main fiction level one are available along with the lessons and the videos. If we just head back, into level two, we can see here that the teacher has opened early reader two, non-fiction is locked and level two main fiction. But if we go into the main fiction, we can see that the teacher has unlocked the first 10 books and then the next 10 are locked there. Now, when Don reads his books, after four books, he will receive his little reward. So if we go over to rewards, and have a look. Don Gill has earned his first reward. The picture will appear as his reward and he'll aim to achieve each series or each level's rewards as well. Let's head back to the library and have another little look at what happens if we try and click a level three. It just um, highlights and you can't go any further or level four. So really it is locked and that will allow students to really focus on the content and the material that they're meant to be focusing on. If Don is a very beginning uh, beginner student, then just level one would be open and quite possibly level two would be locked as well. But the student platform is easy to navigate. There's nothing that they can click onto or get lost. It has all of the interactive features of our library. So let's have a little look, clicking on one. And there's the book for Don to read and hear. N at, nat, s at, sat, nat, sat. And there you have our student portal. All right, let's jump in and have a look at the parent portal, which looks very similar to the student one, but it has some slight differences. I've logged in as the parent portal. As you can see, the library is very similar. Everything is under those key eight levels. And when the student clicks on those, you can see that they have those things available. The parents do have access to the workbooks, but you'll notice in the student accounts, the workbooks aren't there. All right, the other thing that you'll notice that's different is that there's no locking or unlock. Everything is unlocked for the students. Now the library sits here. We still have the rewards for the home use as well. And then we have the resources tab. So the parent also has access like a teacher to all of those printable resources. So if you want to print some games for that level, there's 20 games per level in there that the, the parent has access to. The other component is that you can control your account and account settings. If you leave your child on a device and they press this, you'll notice that they can't go any further without typing an email address. So they can't accidentally cancel the account or get charged more or anything like that. 
So if we just go back to our library and have a look, you get access to all eight levels and within each level you get three series of books, lessons, videos and workbooks additional to your resources.